What's up guys, it's Evan with Free For All. Today, we're gonna talk about Dunkirk, and this is my official review uh, for it. Um, so, a lot of people are really big uh, Christopher Nolan fans, and I am, I, I'm, I'm, I am a fan of him, uh, but I'm not like one of like his biggest fans, like I don't think he's a top three director, maybe not even top five, he's in the conversation for that. Uh, but certainly a lot of people have him like really high up there. But uh, he had kind of a iffy run here uh, lately. Um, I don't think it's as bad as some people do, especially some other people on the free-for-all uh, crew. But Interstellar was okay. Um, not great. Um, certainly Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises had a lot of problems. I actually like it a lot more than most. Um, but uh, it's, it had a lot of problems. Uh, not all of it was his fault. That movie should have been pushed back. Uh, but I digress. But um, So coming in, Dunkirk, uh, when I first heard about it, uh, I guess like The Shine had worn off for Nolan for me. So I wasn't like crazy excited for it. I thought a war movie was an odd choice. But uh, yeah, I, I was going to give it a shot. Then I saw the preview and I was like, holy cow, this looks really good. But we've gotten a lot of war movies over the past couple of years, or I guess we always get a lot of war movies, but um, we've had some really good ones. Um, American Sniper was a insanely good war movie. Uh, my favorite over the past few years was Fury. If you haven't seen that, go watch it now. It's amazing. Uh, but uh, last year, Hacksaw Ridge was super, super good. Uh, it was almost in my top ten. Uh, it was an Academy Award nominee. Uh, and I love me some Mel Gibson as a director, not necessarily as a person, <laughs> uh, but as an actor and a director, love the dude. Um, this is probably better than all of those. Maybe In Fury are really close. Um, I think this is probably a better movie. I might like Fury a little bit better. Um, I'm not gonna really going to go into spoilers, although it is kind of history, or it's based on history, so... Uh, I guess spoilers if you just look it up online. Um, but um, this movie is going to be nominated for a lot of awards. Not just on the free-for-all awards, I'm talking Academy Awards. Uh, it's that good. Uh, it did really well. Made, uh, I think it did $50 million here in its opening weekend. And a really crowded weekend, so that's really good. Um, I just forgot how good the cinematography can be for... Nolan. I don't know. I don't think he, I think he's got a guy that just always works with him, but holy shit, he's so freaking good. Um, every shot in this is beautiful. Um, I think this is going to get nominated for Best Picture. Um, it's going to get nominated for Best Cinematography, I think. Um, it's going to be nominated for one of or both for sound editing and sound mixing because as much as I try to learn every year, I don't really know the difference. And if you do, you're probably lying to yourself and to me, so don't do that. Um, but it, one of those, if not both, because, God, the sounds in this are just visceral. Um, I had to come home and get a beer, um, and if I enjoyed popping pills, I would be taking a Xanax right now. Uh, it's not me, but um, for some people, that I think would have to do that, because this movie is insanely tense from minute one. Uh, you see flyers falling from the ground, uh, from the sky, and it's a small little squadron of uh, young men, and it sets the scene perfectly. They catch the flyers, and their propaganda flyers being dropped by the Germans uh, that show their position. And this is the story of uh, how the British and French soldiers have been driven back by the Nazi army, and they're uh, to the shores of France, and they're trapped. And this is what the propaganda. Um, poster show them and uh, this was called the greatest military disaster in, in history by Winston Churchill and this was just kind of the story of those people what I didn't know and what was so cool about it was um, and this isn't a spoiler but um, the way it's shot it's told in three different time frames um, you get part one you get one two and three um, one is on the beach um, and it says one week and it took me a little while to understand what was going on um and again not spoilers this is going to kind of knowing this ahead of time would kind of help i think um and then you get uh mark rylance's character who is a civilian uh with his son and a friend and uh, they are 
um, being sent by the British uh, government. Uh, they, they're they requisitioning private small vessels to go and try and pick all these people up that are trapped because of the German blockade. Um, and they just don't want to send their full army because they don't think this is, they're afraid they get wiped out. Um, and that's one day out. And then you cut to um, a squadron, I guess that's what you call them, of uh, planes uh, for the British Air Force. It starts off as three planes. Um, Tom Hardy is the uh, uh, main one of these. Um, and it says uh, one hour out. Um, and it's so cool to see how these three stories just slowly begin to explain one another and to intertwine um, as you see stuff happening in Tom Hardy who is obviously the closest to the present and his shots you will see them harken back to that and show how that happened or what this background something you saw in the background but you noticed it because he wanted you to notice it um, and but even though it wasn't like the focal point of the shot and then later on you're going to see why that was happening and I can't think of like one spot that was missed or like one single uh, wasted shot that wasn't explained or somehow that f didn't feed back into uh, what was going on in the story. It was so good. Um, I don't know if any of the acting will be nominated just because there isn't, this isn't about the characters really. Um, it's about just the perseverance of people and the goodness of them. Um, Mark Rylance is amazing as always. Um, the main, I guess what you would call the main kid, uh, who's the, stuck on the beach, who gets by far the most camera time. Um, uh, he, he was really, really good. Uh, Cillian Murphy's in this just for a little bit. He's really good. Tom Hardy is. Tom Hardy barely speaks throughout the whole thing. He's mainly just flying. Um, but it's a Christopher Nolan movie, so Tom Hardy's got to be in it, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. Um, but, uh, they're all really good, but nothing stands out. Um, I would say uh, Logan. Uh, if you know me, you know I'm a bit, uh, you know what type of fan I am. But uh, Logan's still my favorite movie of the year. But this is this is the best movie I've seen this year. Um, holy crap, it's so good. Uh, if I were gonna give it a score, uh, it's pro I'd give it a nine five out of ten. And uh, not just is it the best movie I've seen. It's probably my second favorite. It's crazy good. I to me, this is a top three. Nolan film. Um, I don't know the order of that, except for number one. Number one's Inception. I don't care if you're one of those weird Inception haters out there. That movie's freaking perfection. Um, but I would say this is probably a top three Nolan film. Um, I don't know if it's like a top five war movie ever, but it's certainly a top ten, and it's at least in the conversation. Uh, so go see it. Um, it is, believe the hype, it's well worth your time, it's well worth your money. Um, if you can go see it in theaters, just being a part of that environment, I, I, I love going to the movie theater, uh, and this is one of the reasons why the sound of the planes and the bullets flying, uh, it's really hard to duplicate at home. I went and saw it on IMAX. If you can do that, for love of God, go do that. It, it looks so good. Uh, but like I said, yeah, 9, 5 out of 10 for me. Uh, Dunk Dunkirk is very, very good. Uh, and in a day where movie tickets are almost... $20 it seems this is one of those that is really worth it um, but if you've seen it tell me what you think um, in the comments down below I really want to know um, what you guys think I think this you guys think this is going to be an Oscar movie I think it's a shoe in uh, but yeah comment down below you know make sure you like this video tell your friends uh, um, if you want to see more videos like this see more TV reviews, movie reviews game reviews uh, whatever uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, tell your friends to subscribe and, uh, we'll be see, uh, giving you a lot more videos like this. Make sure you check out our podcast, drop in weekly, uh, try to put those videos up on here as well. Um, and, uh, again, just let us know what you guys think until then. Thank you so much for watching.